How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. I also got to put in the disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice. So just know when you do invest, you're doing it at your own risk. So today we're going to be talking about SNDL Sundal Growers. It's been a while, but you know what? You guys need to get an update. So before we get started, we like to go over the agenda. If you're new to this channel, you could also find timestamps down below in the description as well. So for the first thing that we're going to be covering in this video is actually an article that talks about, hey, has SNDL where the current price of where it's at, has it bottomed out? Does this mean that it's only up from here? So that's why I wanted to actually share it with you guys because I do see a lot of potential in this stock, especially if you're down to be holding it for quite some time. So we'll be going over that in the article. And then secondly, we're going to be looking at the technical analysis. We're seeing some strong price action from SNDL. So we want to know where are those areas of support if it pulls back and what are those areas of resistance what prices do we have to see so we can start looking forward to a run-up then we're going to be going on fintel and taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and as well as the short interest information we want to know are institutions loading up on shares or are they selling their shares and as far as we want to know is what is the overall market sentiment and is there any short squeeze potential in SNDL? And then when all of that is done, you guys know I got to give you a lot of value. I'll be giving you my final thoughts. So let's get into it. So we're going to be taking a look at a recent article that came out today for SNDL Sundial Growers. So Sundial Growers stock seems to have bottomed out and ready to move. An 873.5 million cash buffer will enable aggressive organic and inorganic growth and fuel SNDL stock gains. It's been a volatile year for Sundial Grower stock. At the beginning of the year, SNDL stock was trading at 47 cents per share with aggressive growth plans and hopes for federal level legalization of cannabis. Investors push SNDL stock to $3.96. It didn't take time for the rally to fizzle out and after sustained correction, the shares currently trade at 70 cents a piece. It seems very likely that SNDL stock has bottomed out and current levels are attractive for fresh exposure. My view is underscored by the fact that Sunday losses widen in the first quarter of 2021 with the pandemic snuffing sales. However, SNDL stock remained sideways after the results were released. Let's talk about the reasons for the big correction. First and foremost, profit booking was likely after a sharp rally which was partially speculative in nature. Furthermore, Sundial has been on a capital raising spree to pay for its expansion plans. Equity dilution is another major concern for the big correction. Positive triggers for SNDL stock. Now, about the capital raising spree. As of Q1 2021, Sundial reported cash and equivalents of $873.5 million. The cash buffer gives the company a lot of financial flexibility to pursue growth opportunities. Considering the current cash buffer, it seems unlikely that Sundial do anything to further dilute equity. On the organic growth front, Sundial reported revenue of $9.9 million for Q1 2021, which was lower by 29% as compared to Q4 2020. Growth was tempered by COVID-19. However, the company did manage to report its first positive EBITDA. If it can sustain the positive adjusted EBITDA, it's a key upside trigger for SNDL stock. I also like the fact that branded cannabis sales were 74% of total sales. If sale of branded products remain robust, the company's position to deliver healthy EBITDA margin and cash flows. Beyond Q1 2021, I believe that the following factors are likely to ensure the company's growth is healthy in the coming quarters. In May 2021, the company announced the acquisition of Inner Spirit Holdings for a consideration of $131 million. The company is a franchise and operator of retail cannabis stores in Canada. With 86 stores, the company has a significant footprint. It's very likely that Sundial will leverage on the retail presence to sell the company's branded inhalable products. It's also important to note that for Q4 2020, Inner Spirit reported revenue of $9.2 million and an EBITDA margin of 19%. The acquisition is therefore likely to boost top-line growth coupled with margin expansion. Opportunities in the Sunstream Bancorp joint venture. Sundial has also formed a 50-50 joint venture with SAF Group. The latter is a Canada-based alternative investment manager. 
Sundial had initially committed $100 million to the Sunstream Bank Corp joint venture. However, the commitment was recently raised to $188 million. The idea is to create a co-managed special opportunities global cannabis fund. The fund will create a portfolio of debt, equity, and hybrid investments. I believe that the joint venture is likely to create long-term value. It's worth noting that in Q1 2021, the company generated revenue of $15.7 million from the cannabis-related portfolio investments. Once a joint venture has debt and equity investments, it's likely to serve as a source of reoccurring revenue for the company. Sundial believes that there is a global pipeline of $500 million related to debt and equity opportunities. I would not be surprised if Sundial further increases the commitment to the joint venture. Concluding Views Sundial Growers is aggressively creating a broad portfolio of investments. Earlier this month, the company acquired additional stake in the Valence Company, which is a developer and a manufacturer of cannabinoid-based products. As the legal cannabis market continues to grow, these investments will deliver results. As the company continues to deploy its cash in growth and investing activities, revenue and EBITDA are likely to accelerate. Therefore, SNDL stock looks attractive after a big correction. This is the reason why I wanted to share this article with you guys. SNDL has definitely set themselves up well, and with all the cash that they have been raising, they've been investing it in great opportunities and solid companies that can benefit them for the long term. So we're gonna be doing a technical analysis for SNDL Sundial Growers. So let's see how it performed on the day. So ended up closing the day at 75 cents, being up 6.79% on the day on the low it tested 69 cents and then on the high testing 76 cents so when we take a look at this chart just to kind of give you guys an update we have this six month two hour chart that we're looking at we want to see how it's lined up against our indicators so currently it is below the 200 day below the 100 day but it's showing some strength riding along this 21 day ema here so sundial has been showing some strong price action as of late and it's part of the reasons why we're actually doing a video on it and so forth we also want to take notice of the fact that this area of support here at 67 cents has been established and now we're seeing some moves to the upside seeing where it closed at 75. so an area of resistance that we want to pay attention to is right here at this 80 cent level if it's able to pass 80 cents i'll be looking for sndl to make that move and start reclaiming here to the 100 day where it's at 82. if we could pass this 82 level then the next area to keep and close eye on will be here right around 88. it will be met with some resistance but if you can get right through it with a lot of volume and so forth i would not be shocked to see it make that move and start hitting the next resistance level here right around one dollar another thing to do keep in mind here this is a volatile stock and it's part of the reasons why if it does decide to pull back then look out for that 65 cent level and as well taking a look at this 55 cent level again this is if it decides to pull back on you so what am I seeing? If you like the long-term prospects of SNDL, I still look at the current price as a great way in regards to seeing an entry, but do look out for those lows or those when it touches that 60 cent area. But also do keep in mind, we're gonna take a look at the RSI. It's right around fair value, so that's what I was saying. If it does decide to pull back, then you might wanna take advantage of that if you are actually considering making an investment in the stock. But for the most part, hey, it's looking fairly bullish. I wanna see it reclaim the 100 day, and then we can come up and see what's going to be happening after that. And I want to see SNDL be able to get back to $1 before the end of the year. I think it's very doable. So around Fintel, and we're going to be taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and as well as the short interest information for Sundial Growers. So as we scroll down on the page, green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions. So we can see here as of the 17th, which is today, we're definitely seeing some bullish behavior from institutions who have been loading up on SNDL. We do have two institutions who have closed out their positions, but for the most part, it is looking very bullish amongst them. Also seeing some sizable positions as well. We could see here subsequent international group having here around 11.6 million shares and added as far as a percent change of over 85, sorry, just under 85%. We also do have here though, the Royal Bank of Canada actually lowering the amount of shares that they're holding by 30 
38%. But for the most part, we're seeing institutions are definitely showing some bullish behavior for SNDL. If we take a look at the short interest information here, as we take a look at the short volume ratio, it is at 42%, and this was as of closed Friday. So this definitely has some short squeeze potential here. It is double the 21% that we normally look for. Now, if we scroll down on the page, short shares availability are at 450,000, and the short ball free rate is at 1.25%. If we take a look at the history of the short volume ratio, you can see here it is used to being in this high range, being double the 21% that we actually look for. So what does this mean? As far as overall market sentiment, they're saying, hey, the current price of SNDL is too high. The price needs to come down. So be aware of that, but also do keep in mind if a big catalyst ends up coming out or we get up any news, then we can see some strong moves to the upside that can force a possible short squeeze. So for my final thoughts for SNDL Sundial growers, I still do see a lot of upside for this stock, especially if you're down to hold it for the long term. And what I'm talking about is at least two to three years. We already know as far as cannabis legislation, the more that opens up, the more it's widely used, SNDL can benefit from this. Also take into consideration, we already know they have a heavy cash position. And also they're, they're putting this cash to work. They are investing, they're doing joint ventures, and they're seeing the benefits from this. Also do keep in mind of the fact we did see an improved EBITDA on their recent earnings report. So seeing that just shows, hey, is Sundial Growers going to be able to be profitable for the long term from what it's looking like at the moment this could most possibly be the case so if we end up getting consistent earnings report where we're seeing improvements SNDL will have nowhere to go but up but also do keep in mind institutions are loading up but the short interest is still high how does this work so what this means is as far as the market sentiment they're saying hey the stock price is too high, it needs to come down. But on the other end, if they come up with giving out more updates and so forth, then we could see a potential short squeeze here. But do keep in mind of the fact, I wanna see SNDL be able to get to $1 before the end of the year. I know you're saying, Dre, that's a quite a bit of time. But you also do need to understand the way how I look at this play, you need to hold it for at least two to three years. And that's my strategy. I'm not telling you to actually do that, but that's the way you need to look at it. Because with all of the investments, the joint ventures and all of the deals, and I know they even have more down the road that are going to be coming, SNDL is definitely looking prime for a lot of growth for the years ahead. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll be talking real soon.